I also just want to briefly talk about single page application compared to traditional web application. What is that all about? Well, in the good old days where I was making web applications, I kind of made a request just like you guys are doing now. I would make a request from the application right here. Now this is, a, let's just have a look at Google here. So this is a Google request. I just searched for Angular. Let me just try and zoom a bit so you guys can see this. I just searched for Angular right here. Let's say that I wanted to press next page down here and let's have a look at what would actually happen in the traditional application. Because what would happen is kind of, I would go down to the back end, I would say here, dear guy, I want to send a new request, I want to ask for the next page. And he would say, okay, let's go down and grab the next page down here on the back end. That's kind of what the W does, he re redirects you to the back end. And down on the back end, I would say, okay, sweet, now we're down here, let's grab some data from the database. And then we would take the data back from the database into our back end, and the back end would now do something different from a single page application. It would actually generate the entire web page for me like this. It would build everything in here that I needed to show this page to the actual client. So all of this would be built on the back end and then it would be put inside the body of our HTTP request. It would be passed back over the wire, yoink, all the way back to the traditional application and then everything would be shown as the new page. And notice what I'm saying here is everything would be sent back. The HTML, the CSS, the different tags, um, the entire DOM would be passed back as one big chunk of data, so it would be very easy for the browser just to show it. There we go, now we have the new page. Now with single page application, it's a bit different. So let's try and do the same request with a single page application here. Uh, again, if I do click the next page right here, instead what I would do is I would send a request again, just like we did before. There we go, sending the request. It would go all the way back maybe to a REST API, at least that's what we like to use nowadays. That REST API would go and grab only the data about the customers, just like the other one would. It would grab the data about, uh, sorry, the, the search. It would grab the data about those. It would return back with the data to this guy. But now, instead of creating the entire web page, I would return JSON. Just like what we're doing right now in our beautiful REST API, I would just return a list of all the custom information. So let me try and show you what I mean here. So instead of returning everything back with the HTML tag, the body tag, the head tag, all the different tags inside, I would just return the data down here. I would just explain that we have the, a data set with Angular Docs, a data set with this guy, this guy, this guy, and then I'll send that back to you as JSON right here, and there you go. Now you can use JavaScript to manipulate the DOM to present that data inside the rest of the page. So instead of actually bringing everything back, I just need to rebuild this guy down here, right? So let me try and show you if I do press next, and let me just zoom out, because you'll see that it's actually going very fast because I'm not re redrawing the entire thing, I'm just changing the center right here. Not everything else, just the center right here. So that's kind of the difference between a single page application and a traditional application. Here we grab all the data back, but with Angular and other single page applications, we just get the data back as JSON. See you in the next lesson where we'll dive into the history of Angular.